dude. Uh, this is the biggest jumping spider I have ever no, seen. It's not. Look at the size of this no, Regius in here. Hunting in this palmetto. Holy crap! <laughs> Jumping spiders. These inquisitive arachnids are amongst some of the most intelligent invertebrates on Earth. From incredibly sensitive eyes to complex hunting strategies, these animals have captured both our interest and our imagination. My name is Jack, and I travel all over the world searching for the planet's most unique and most dangerous animals. I want to find out the truth about our more misunderstood creatures and showcase the true nature of these fellow Earthlings. Today I am venturing into the forests of Central Florida as I search for the largest jumping spider native to the U.S., the Regal Jumping Spider. These jumpers can get huge, and I'm curious to observe both their behavior and see just what makes these spiders tick. Can I find the largest jumping spider in the States? And will I be able to uncover the mysteries about it? Let's find out. So these jumping spiders, this is the largest species in the US. So I'm just kind of scanning all of these plants where these arachnids are hunting. It's a nice overcast day. This should be the perfect day for some amazing jumping spider activity. And like I said, they're the largest species out here. So I should be able to see these. They are hefty, they are juicy, they are voluptuous, some might even say. So I think we've got a really good chance at turning up some, and I'm hoping that we can get one that shows you just how gigantic the largest species of jumping spider in the US really is. Jumping spiders are quite literally covered in eyes. The massive eyes oriented towards the front of their cephalothorax, or head, are of course their primary hunting tool. They use these sophisticated eyes to spot prey and track it over considerable distances. They also have many smaller eyes dotted all over the periphery of their cephalothorax. These eyes help some to detect changes in light, but more importantly, they keep an eye out for predators. Although these spiders are fantastic invertebrate predators, they are far from apex predators in their native ecosystems, and they can easily fall prey to any number of animals. So it's important our arachnid friends stay aware. Okay, so starting to sprinkle, so we are headed underneath um, some more kind of canopy covered areas to see if we've got any more activity in the plants around here. I think this spot looks really, really good. And uh, it's a little more shelter from this light drizzle. Shouldn't, shouldn't discourage our spider friends from coming out and getting a nice snack. Uh, but we figured we would probably check an area that uh, maybe might be a little more conducive to our search. Let's go. After searching for hours and with the rain coming in and out, we were beginning to feel like all hope was lost. Surely Florida was not going to deliver us the jumping spiders we were after. They call me Swampy Joe. Swampy Joe, Swampy, Swampy Joe, yeah. Doesn't this look like an amazing beard? This is some lovely air plants, some Spanish moss, and they get all of their water just by Sucking it straight out of the air. <laughs> How great is that, folks? Finally, I spotted some movement in a palmetto. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Spencer, get over. You gotta check this out. Dude, uh, this is the biggest jumping spider I have ever no, seen. No, it's not. Look at the size of this no, Regius in here. Hunting in this palmetto. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh! You weren't kidding! No, no, that thing is a monster. Oh jeez, don't get away. Where'd it go? Oh, she fell. She fell. That thing's wolf spider size. Oh my goodness, folks! 
Look at that! <gasps> this could eat the bold jumping spiders back at home. This thing is a monster. She's just looking right at me. Got her arms open. She's going, did you just call me fat? No, I called you big, boisterous, and beautiful big spider. This is literally the biggest jumping spider I have ever seen. Phidippus regius, the regal jumping spider. This is our largest native jumping spider here in the United States. One of the largest species in the world. And uh, I don't think I could have found a bigger one. This is gigantic. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, look, look at my thumb on the container. That thing is huge. That thing is literally so big. Oh, we, we've got our jumping spider video, folks. We got our jumping spider video. This, this rain tried to dampen our spirits, but luckily it brought out the big mama. Everybody else is probably afraid of her. They don't want to compete with the size of this jumping spider here. Jeez, that thing is huge. Now you may be wondering how dangerous these spiders are. Luckily, these, like many spiders, are incredibly hesitant to bite and will generally flee at the first sign of danger. If they feel that they have no other option than to bite, they are capable of inflicting a decently painful one, akin to the sting of a paper wasp or yellow jacket. This stinging can last for a good few minutes before fading into inflammation and itchiness that can sometimes last over a week. Spiders need their venom to procure and digest their food, so they only tend to use it in defense if they truly have no other option. Remember to respect wild spiders in their space, and you'll be able to avoid bites completely. Okay, folks, I'm going to try and get this jumping spider out onto my hand. Hopefully she's cooperative. I cannot believe the size of this jumping spider. It's a lot of people, you know, like, we have bold jumpers back at home. <laughs> got her in the container. We got bold jumping spiders back at home. And oftentimes, you know, they can be pretty hard to distinguish from these regal jumping spiders. But, oh my gosh, I mean, this is a gigantic jumper. These are absolutely massive jumping spiders. They're just so inquisitive. These are such intelligent little spiders. She really kind of has a decent grasp on what's going on. She's tracking my face. She's kind of looking at me. She perceives me as a threat. And I have to kind of put in a little bit of time to convince her that that's not the case. That I'm not here to hurt her. I just want to take a quick look at her for a little bit. Oh my goodness. This is the biggest wild jumping spider I have ever seen in my life. She's gigantic. Look at this big, beautiful arachnid, folks. It's all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. That's where they get that name, jumping spider, right? These animals have powerful little internal hydraulics in those legs, and they pump hemolymph quickly and efficiently up through those little legs there. And she's able to get some pretty decent distance for a spider of this caliber, of this size. I can't believe we found the largest species of jumping spider in the U.S. And we found probably like just about the max size that these little arachnids can get. Wow, wow, wow. This is a monstrous jumping spider and a beautiful one as well. Generally, these spiders are kind of a light kind of gray. So this is kind of an interesting patterned one as well. Come here. Why you got to do that? Why you got to try and run away? I'm your biggest fan. Oh, wow, folks. If you're enjoying this video, check out this one I filmed in Arizona, finding one of the most beautiful desert species of jumping spiders out there. These spiders really can survive and thrive in just about any environment. Now, these little spiders are using some amazing arachnid brain power and some spectacular vision in order to hunt their prey. These are fantastic visual predators that use their agility and eyesight to make quick and easy work of even the toughest little invertebrates that they feed on. Look at that. I mean, she's so active and aware. These have such great eyesight for spiders. And they are just amazing little arachnids. And I can't get over that we found such a spectacularly large one. This is fantastic, folks. 
What a beautiful arachnid. There's still much we don't know about the intelligence of these arachnids. It's clear that they are a step ahead of their other eight-legged cousins, but just how advanced is the brain power of these invertebrates? It's difficult to measure or even deduce what exactly goes on inside these animals, but it's clear through their hunting strategies and inquisitive nature that there's something special going on. Challenge invites organisms to excel. The rigorous fight for survival has molded these creepy crawlies into streamlined hunters with the brain power to match. Maybe one day we'll know all the secrets these lovely arachnids hold, but for now we can enjoy them as they are and know that there's more to uncover. She's just running and jumping. She's actually laying some safety webs. These jumpers are, are smart enough to uh, basically do some risk management. If she misses a jump, she's a big girthy spider. If she were to hit a hard log or a rock or something like that out here from jumping from a high distance, she could rupture her little abdomen. She could be in some pretty big trouble. So they actually will use those little spinnerets and they'll wiggle them around and they'll deposit a little tiny strand of a safety web that they can actually use to protect themselves from fall damage. They'll actually spiral back up those little safety webs so that they don't come crashing down onto the ground if they miscalculate a jump, which is just so spectacular. Jumping spiders in general are just one of the coolest little creatures to come across in film. So unbelievably cool. Well, my friends, we had a fantastic time with our lovely, gigantic, largest jumping spider I've ever seen. So we're gonna get her right back into her palmetto where we found her. But first, folks, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really love creating content for you guys. I love getting out into the field and finding these special animals for you all to learn about at home. This was such an amazing video and my first, not only Phidippus regius, the regal jumping spider, but my first jumping spider that has been this absolutely gigantic. So it's been a great time. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you had a fun time taking some close looks at this beautiful and gigantic jumping spider. But that's really all I've got for you today. So uh, if I leave you with anything, I hope I left you with a little bit of appreciation for uh, some of our neat, special, and fantastic little spiders. Yes, I get sometimes they're creepy crawly, but they've got a lot of important roles that they serve in their respective ecosystems, and they are super cool and important little creatures. Thanks so much for your help, cutie. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next week, but until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.